Okay, completely different topic here. If I keep walking, halfway to the wall, the limiting distance is the smallest distance greater than any distance I could travel no matter how long I have. I.E. the original distance you probably can't read that, the original distance to the wall. Does that make any sense at all? I can never go the distance to that wall. But any distance less than that, if I have enough time, I can get there. So the smallest number that's greater than any distance I could ever travel, no matter how, if I had forever, you know, unlimited time, has to be the distance to the wall. Okay? That is something that's eminently worth pondering until you completely understand it. Very important concept. Okay? And it will be important to you at some point. And if you ponder it now, it will be part of your mental apparatus and won't cause you to stumble later so that you'll be able to move right through certain conceptual difficulties that you're going to encounter if you take a moderate amount of mathematics at a good school, okay? And you would encounter it in a first-year calculus course at a good school. At a mediocre school, maybe or maybe not, okay? Um, but at a good school where you're given a good rigorous calculus course that gives you the kind of tools you need to think about things that you wouldn't ever think you'd have to think about, that's an important idea. And it's one you can understand right now if you think about it. Okay?